Sorry, sir. I'm doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? I did, sir. He's my cousin. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Welcome to the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Beta! At this point, I think it's pretty safe, guys, that we can say this Infinite Warfare Beta is actually a piece of shit. I'm not even actually talking about the gameplay itself is shit, but we'll get into more of that later, obviously. But first of all, I mean, like, this beta is absolutely fucking broken. It was supposed to start yesterday at 10 a.m. in the morning, but no one could actually even get in and play the beta until three hours later. I wasn't even surprised. I wasn't even at home. I was fucking out getting coffee, doing our shit, because I knew this was going to fucking happen. These morons over at Infinity Ward, I mean, they have the most hated gaming video in YouTube history, and now they fuck up the beta, and it's like pretty much one of the most hated betas of all time. I mean, this is a fucking good job. You're doing a great marketing fucking job there, Activision and Infinity Ward. I mean, maybe you dickheads could take some of those billions of dollars that you guys have made off of fucking goddamn supply drops and stop paying people like T-Mart for advertising your supply drops and maybe actually that makes no sense yeah right yeah and I was gonna say and spend some money on the actual game and developing and making it work but why would you do that when you got fucking retarded people who are gonna buy millions and billions of dollars worth of supply drops and don't even actually need to fucking worry about the game being good you just you should do Call of Duty supply drop warfare and just fucking have a game where it's just nothing but supply drops fuck it let's do that I'm gonna start a website that I just happen to find that you guys can win six thousand dollars on ninety percent of our time has been sitting and staring at empty game lobbies while we play with our dicks or vaginas if your name is Drifter I, I mean and I know right now too, some whiny little bitch kids when they get on his keyboard and type out and it's like, Yo, what ain't that? This is a beta! It's not the actual game! Well, Timmy T. Martin fanboy, no balls. Yes, this is a beta. I mean, congratulations for recognizing this. You're a genius. But a beta is for two things. Yes, you're right. It's a beta. We're supposed to test the game out. They want to see if the servers are working. Give the general public an opportunity to play the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Let me repeat that. Give the general public an opportunity to play the game. You know what? We haven't had an opportunity to play the fucking game because the goddamn fucking servers aren't working. I mean, like, this is supposed to be an enticing goddamn fucking beta to get people excited to actually buy the game. That's another thing we're supposed to be doing here. It's a hands-on advertising tool. But only thing like I said, at this point, our hands are on our dicks while we're staring at empty pregame lobbies. This makes the Battlefield 1 beta look good, and that was a fucking goddamn horrible beta as well. It didn't even actually work, and the Battlefield 1 beta, like I just said, was one of the best looking fucking betas in the world compared to this bullshit Infinite Warfare beta. Now, when I've actually been blessed with the fucking Praise Jesus Activision Hail Satan goddamn opportunity to get into a game, I can honestly say, though, the game itself isn't really that bad. But it's also not that fucking amazing either. I mean, I went in with an open mind. I didn't go in with hate in my heart. You know, I was going in with the love of Jesus. But it really feels like a kind of a poor man's copy of Black Ops 3. And I actually love Black Ops 3. I know it's goddamn against the norm here, but I actually really like Black Ops 3. But if it's a fucking poor man's shittier version of Black Ops 3, I mean, this could get boring really quickly, man. The game movement does feel smooth or actually floaty, depending upon your personal interpretation of that. I mean, I think the game actually plays pretty smooth. It seems to be goddamn fucking running pretty well. Kill streaks are good, as you can see here as I'm beating the shit of these noobs in this game. But you know what? I don't know. This is a beta, and it's a limited one at that. So who knows what the future holds? There may be a rocket that has automatic lock-on capabilities like Black Ops 3 and makes all these goddamn kill streaks in this game useless. So, I mean, that could be a fucking issue. We'll see as time goes on. Hit detection, pretty solid, but at the same time, too, there seems to be a lot of bullet spun, so I don't know if that's a server issue. So, like I said, it's really up in the air at this point in my mind. Like, I'm wishy-washy. I can't say it's really great. can't say it's really bad. I'm not going to sit there and say it's fucking amazing like all these other COD cocksuckers who are paid by Activision to try to come out here and do damage control. But, you know what? Trying to be objective here, I can't really say it's fucking shitty, nor can I say it's really great, because, you know what? I need to play the game more and see what actually happens. At this point, though, most people, if you look at Twitter and YouTube, aren't the big COD cocksuckers, hate this fucking game. And to me, like I said, it's just it's just okay. It's not super amazing. It's not also, like I said, super fucking horrible. It's like a, you know, a shittier version of Black Ops 3. And if I were to look into the future, though, I'd say that this is going to be a bad year for Call of Duty. If you didn't like Black Ops 3, you're definitely not going to fucking like this. And here's another thing. We haven't even touched on the supply drop issues that are back in this game. The whole pay-to-win bullshit that apparently people are really worried about. And T. Martin is already over at his channel doing supply drop opening videos. And he also, he did a whole video, you're not going to believe this shit, trying to convince people that supply drops in this game are good. <laughs> As it seems at this point, there is so much hate for Call of Duty. And here's the thing, I personally don't think Infinite Warfare is a strong enough or good enough game to persuade people to change their minds on this. So, 
Who knows? I'm going to try to play some more of this beta before I actually condemn the game. But to be honest, man, it doesn't look good for Call of Duty this year as a whole. So good luck to all you guys out there trying to get into lobbies. I'm going to go try to get into some lobbies and actually play some more of this goddamn Infinite Warfare beta. And until next time, you all stay black! And don't let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifter build the moon base harp. They're spraying chemtrails. 9-11 most definitely a motherfucking inside job. Apparently the earth is flat and they're up at Bohemian Grove worshiping owls. White man, bring you down!